Hi everyone, welcome back. So this time we have a very similar problem to our last one, but now instead of you know, particle board and um, fiberglass, we have steel and timber. I like it. So we have our two steel plates with a modular elasticity of 30,000 KSI securely attached to a southern pine timber to form a composite beam. The allowable bending stress for the steel plates is 24,000 PSI, and the allowable bending stress for the southern pine is 1,200 PSI. And our question then is, what's the maximum bending moment that can be applied about the horizontal axis of the beam? What's the maximum bending moment that can be applied about the horizontal axis of the beam? Well, we gotta figure it out. We're gonna have to figure out what this is. Hmm. So, I'm gonna let you pause, find that squirrel that we talked about earlier, and hopefully it'll help you out. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, then you might probably haven't watched the videos in order, or I'm getting confused. I'm recording a lot of videos right now, so it could be that I'm, I had that joke in a different class. Either way, if there's a squirrel nearby, ask it for help. Maybe it can help you in your problems. <laughs> that is a joke. Please don't go and start talking to random squirrels. People think you're weird as I am. Okay, so pause, go and do that, um, come back, and. Hopefully the problem will go away. So three, two, one, and you're back. <laughs> let's get to it. So first things, let's find the modular ratio, which is going to be huge, because <laughs> steel is way bigger than um, our timber. So timber is going to be material one, steel is material two. Modular ratio is 16.6667. And so we're going to transform those steel plates into an equivalent amount of timber. And the way we're going to do that is by multiplying their width by the modular ratio. So these are going to be some massively, massively wide little things. This is just insane. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Definitely a reasonable beam to build. But we don't have to worry about it being reasonable to build. We can just calculate things, do some interesting math with it. So with our new 133 inch wide and quarter inch thick wood faces, we can begin to calculate the moment of inertia. Luckily for us, the centroid is right there at the center. We don't have to do any calculations for it. It's already known. You know, our beam was perfectly symmetric to begin with. So it's just right there at the center. So the moment of inertia for rectangles is going to be 1 12th base height cubed. And so with that, calculating everything right there, good to go, liking it. We can calculate moment inertia for all of our little sections. We see that the wood beam, it's got the most moment inertia to begin with. However, don't forget that there is gonna be that correction term from the parallel axis theorem for our top beams, okay? For our top beams. And we're calculating the moment inertia based on the transformed area, okay? That's why it's the transformed steel top plate. Other things you might notice here is that you see that the distance from the centroid for our timber is zero, and that's true because it is centered, and our centroid is actually at the center for the symmetric piece. Okay, so our moment inertia becomes 7,814.72 inches to the fourth. So what is the maximum bending moment based on allowable southern pine stress? Remember, there's going to be two cases here one for steel and one for southern pine and we have to go with the lower bending moment because if we go with the higher one it's going to cause it to fail so it'll be based on the allowable beam stress of 1200 psi for southern pine timber we use our flexure formula and we say okay we go to the very edge because that's where we're always going to find our maximum bending stresses we rearrange and we get a bending moment of 1172 kip inches okay 1,172 kip inches. This one right here, it's always the edge. That's where you're gonna find the maximum bending stresses, always. So with your little diagram, it always looks like something like this. The big end of the triangle is always far away from the neutral axis. Now for the steel, we have 24,000 PSI, the allowed stress for that. And the distance is not eight, it's not 0.125, it's 8.25, because we're going from the center of our wood timber all the way to the edge. We start at the centroid and go all the way up. Also, don't forget about the modular ratio right here. Okay, so even though 
you know, this seems like a lot, we're going to divide that by 16.6667. Okay, so it's going to cut it down and make it very similar. So you see that they can actually take a similar, but not exactly the same, um, bending moment. But in the end, the southern pine is still going to fail first, so that would be our controlling bending moment right here. We wouldn't be able to go above 1,172 kip inches. I think that's everything for this. Yep, so there it is, 1,172 kip inch or 97.7 kip foot. So thank you for listening. I hope this helps you, and I'll see you all next time. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.